Hello and welcome to this my latest uh, chess video. In this uh, video I want to show two games I played as white against my favourite chess engine Numpty, Numpty 0.7 PR. Now this video uh, follows fairly uh, soon, a couple of days later from my last video, where I showed a game I played against Numpty showing the, the Petrov's defence and the Nimzovich attack variation of the Petrov's defence. And this is uh, another game with uh, some similar moves and it's actually the same opening uh, the Petrov's Nimzovic uh, attack variation and the first game I'm going to show is me as white against Numpty well I'm going to be playing white against Numpty in both games and is a win for me as white and the second game will be uh, a win for Numpty as black just to show that Numpty does uh, uh, win against me and in fact Numpty wins more often against me than I win against Numpty but I don't often show the Numpty wins on my videos. So I'm going to redress that balance here. And I'm going to go through these moves fairly quickly because I've got two games to get in on this one video. So we'll start off 1e4, e5, I play knight f3. Here I'm hoping for knight c6 and then I can play d4 and get into my favourite scotch opening. But we know that doesn't happen. And in fact Numpty plays uh, knight f6. And here I just go straight ahead and play knight takes e5. For a, a more detailed explanation of what possible moves can happen in the Petrovs, uh, please see my first video of a couple of days ago up on my YouTube channel, um, Numpty Petrovs or something like that, it will be called RPD at YouTube. OK, well on, onwards, uh, Black and Numpty just plays d6, I have to move the knight, I can't afford to lose it for nothing, uh, but then the white e pawn falls with knight takes e4. Now I play knight uh, to c3. The Nimzovich uh, attack variation of the Petrovs. Black plays knight takes knight. And I play uh, d takes knight c3. And now black plays bishop uh, e7 just to develop. I play bishop f4 to develop. Black plays knight c6 developing. And I play queen d2. Black plays uh, queen to g4 attacking the f3 knight and I want to protect that because I don't want the bishop to take the knight and have to take back with the pawn on g2 to get another set of double pawns so I play uh, bishop to e2 and here Numpty plays d5 straight away using his center pawn to gain space in the center by moving to d5 and trying to control the center squares of e4 and uh, c4 quite critical in the chess game here I castle kingside Numpty follows up the castle and king side, and now I bring my rook from A to E to exert uh, central control on the open E file. And Numpty repositions his uh, dark squared bishop to C5, as in the first game shown on the first video in this variation. But here, though, I now play knight to E5 rather than knight to D4. Here, the knight is attacking the light squared bishop and the uh, knight on. Um, c6 so it's not giving me a chance even to see if Numpty will take back and undouble my pawns at the moment but here Numpty just goes ahead and exchanges light squared bishop bishop takes bishop e2 again I play rook takes bishop to keep my rook on the open e5 and now Numpty simply plays rook to b8 because he's seen when I play knight takes knight which I do he's going to take back b takes uh, knight c6 and now his rook is on the half open file, and I really here need to ought to play uh, b2, b3 to protect my uh, b pawn and to protect that wing and the pawns down there. But in fact, I missed that and I played uh, bishop back to e3, which I shouldn't have done. And then he plays uh, bishop takes bishop, I have to take back and I play rook takes bishop to keep my rook on the e file. And of course, now I lose a pawn for nothing. Uh, rook takes b2. I try and defend my a pawn with uh, a2, a4. Dumpty goes straight after it with uh, rook a2, and I would rather lose the a pawn on the uh, a on the fifth rank because the fourth rank is open and gives uh, rook uh, Dumpty's more scope on his rook. And in fact, uh, Dumpty plays rook takes a5, and here just as compensation, I lost two pawns for nothing. I double up and really take control. I put my uh, Second rook, rook from f1 to e1 on the e file there. 
Lumpty perhaps has his uh, A rook out of the game, so he brings it back to A2 to exert some pressure on the second file. But I simply want to see what will happen and how Lumpty will respond and the game will go when I play C4. So that's putting pressure on the D pawn, and I'm hugely surprised when Lumpty plays B takes C. Not only has he got triple pawns, but I've now got a strong central attack and I can play queen takes queen uh, d8 and if Numpty takes back with the rook he's got serious problems and he does, rook takes uh, queen d8 here my rooks on the e-file are so strong I can play the good move rook e3, rook e8 check Numpty takes back, rook takes rook but I have a completely crushing and winning move rook takes rook d8, check mate and a back rank mate there so that's another game uh, that Numpty played. I played against Numpty, the uh, Petrov's Nimzovich attack variation, and follows on just showing a few different moves from the uh, game of a few days ago in my video there. Well, I now will quickly, very quickly, show you the next, the earlier game, which was a win for Numpty in this variation, just to show that Numpty does win. Let's open up this game, load it up. And I'm going to go through these moves very quickly. We've seen them all before. We've got the hang of the Petrovs. There's the uh, Petrovs Nimzovic defining move, knight c3. Double pawns on the uh, c file. Developing, developing, developing. Getting central control with d5. King safety with uh, king side castling, king side castling. And here I play a new move, h3, to attack the light squared uh, black bishop which moves back to e6 and I continue the theme of bringing the rook from a to e1 to get central control with my rooks uh, this time Lumpty repositions his uh, dark squared bishop to d6 and not to uh, c5 I recapture, he takes the bishop and I recapture with the queen Lumpty again puts his rook on b8 because he knows knight takes knight is coming and this time I do protect my b-pawn by playing b2, b3, which I should have done in the first game. But I start to go wrong in this game. After the exchange of the light squared bishops, Lumpty brings his queen into the action. And maybe I should have played uh, c4 earlier. And I start perhaps a too early attack on the king's side with f4. Lumpty tries to challenge on the e-file with his rook. I play my queen over to try and attack... Uh, the um, d pawn, thinking that Lumpty might take the uh, f pawn with his queen, but instead he's moved his uh, queen to h4 to attack my uh, rook on f1, and now he protects the d pawn with rook to d8. And I start to go wrong here because I play uh, c4 now. Lumpty uh, plays uh, d4 to block, and I play c3. And what I haven't seen is that Lumpty can just simply come back with the queen to f6 and is now very strong when he plays um, c takes c and perhaps I should have played uh, here rook to c1 uh, but I have to move my queen because the queen was then attacked by that uh, rook and now Lumpty plays another good move with his rook I have to get my queen out, Lumpty can come in with a check, I have to move my king, Lumpty gets another check, and there's not a lot I can really do here. I put my king back, and that's checkmate. So I really went wrong uh, right at the end there, and that's a win for Lumpty in that variation, the Petrov's Nimzovich attack variation. Well, I hope you've enjoyed these uh, videos in this variation. And uh, it's given you some food for thought on this uh, opening. It certainly has for me, and I look forward to seeing how I play some more of these games against Numpty Chess Engine. Thank you very much for watching.